We need to talk. It's about your next epic smartphone photo. You're trying to get those eye-popping pictures, huh? And that's why me and you need to talk about shooting raw. When you click the shutter button, your camera makes a bunch of decisions on your behalf to try and get you the best possible image that it can make for you without you having to get too stressed about it. Here's what's happening behind the scenes. Your camera compresses the image that you've taken into a nice small format called a JPEG, Joint Photographic Expert Group, duh, which will fit comfortably on to your small hard drive. But that's just the half of it. Your camera then starts deciding how bright to make the bright areas, how dark to make the dark areas, how contrasty to make your picture, how sharp to make your picture, how saturated to make your picture. Get the picture? Picture this. You're out hiking on a crisp winter's day, imbibing the sounds of nature and the great outdoors, drunk on fresh air and the dawn chorus. As you gaze into the distance, your breath is taken away. <gasps> as you see the pale ashen mountain peaks perforating fluffy wisps of silver gray cloud. The sky is overcast with its pearly off-white sheen providing the perfect canvas for a rainbow more beautiful than you have ever seen. A myriad of color, red, Orange, yellow, green, yes. blue, yes. indigo, yes. violet, arcing a psychedelic trail across the heavens. You reach into your coat pocket, for therein lies your smartphone. The smartphone with which you will capture this picturesque moment. This moment which you shall show off to all your friends at work, at school, or even croquet. Click goes your camera. Click, clickety click, click. You look at the images you have taken. But the sky is blown out. Flat and white as a piece of printer paper. Curses, you mutter to yourself as you lower the exposure on your phone and try again. This time, the sky has been restored. But alas, the mountains look black as soot. And the dynamic range a.k.a. the subtle differences between the darks and the light areas in your pictures. It's all over the place! Bleep! You shout at your phone. Bleep! Bleep! And in that moment, in that moment, my dear friend, it is time for you to stop swimming with the small fish and join the big fish. Shoot, shoot, roar, roar. Okay, let's break this down. When you take a photo with your regular camera app, what you get is a JPEG. A JPEG is a small file that's compressed, it's got less information, and everything's already baked in. Like a cake. Everything you do to your image from that point on is essentially adding toppings. Add a bit of sprinkles, a bit of strawberries, whatever you like to add on it is great, but the more you add on to it, the worse the image becomes. You're actually degrading it and ruining it. You can no longer change the core elements that were in your photo. For example, if the darks are just squashed and completely black and you knew that there was some shade there, you can no longer bring that back up. If the brights are blown out, there's no information there because it's already set. If there was no information captured because your camera decided that it couldn't read the sky and made it far too bright, you can no longer bring that image back. Yipes. However, when you shoot with a camera app that allows you to capture things in the raw format, all the ingredients are still there. You can bring up the shadows if the darks are too dark. You can bring down the highlights if the highlights look blown out. You have all the essential core ingredients to play around with still, and it's not set. Only when you decide to set the cake do you set it. By the way, sorry about this analogy. It wasn't the best analogy, but it was the best analogy that I could come out with. So uh, don't use this one in school, kids. If your teacher asks you who told you this, uh, me, who, what, uh, uh, me, I, I don't know.
I hope you found that useful. And like I always say, it's not how good you are, it's how great you're becoming. Leave me some comments. How's your smartphone photography journey going? I really wanna know. And also please, subscribe. And when you see the little bell icon that comes up, click that and you will be notified every time I put out a new post. I am Visual Magpie on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And to be featured on Visual Magpie Instagram, just use the hashtag Visual Magpie. I put together all my favorite smartphone photographs on there. So for a chance to be featured, just use that hashtag. And hey, it'd be awesome to see some of your work. Until next time, thanks for watching.